Hi guys, my name is Steve O'Keefe. I'm the head MMA coach here at Revolution Martial Arts in Kent. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you a half guard series. You can use it for MMA, Jiu Jitsu, um, or no gi, it's, it, it's entirely up to you. It's a, it's a really good concept and it works really well. So guys, half guard. Your half guard should make a diamond shape. So I'm using my foot on his back as a hook, but also my shin and knee on his shoulder and chest to keep the distance. I'm blocking here. If he swims inside with the arm, I swim inside and I just block the bicep. Now my elbow is inside my knee. If it's not, he can smash my leg down, okay? So I keep my knee flared and I keep my elbow inside and I control his bicep. Now my bottom hook, I'm just keeping engaged on his ankle. So if he does step this knee up, I can follow it and control. So I've got my frame here, and it's like a, it's called, I call it a diamond half guard. Because if Zan was just to move out of the way completely, my hands and legs are in like a diamond shape. So now I've got my frame, I've got options. So I can push him away, I can pull him towards me, and I've got control the whole time. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the back from here. So I kick my leg up and my arm follows straight through. So I kick, I follow and I base. Now from here, I can just pop my head over or if he's a little bit tighter, I can use my knee to bump. Now I've already got one hook in. So I don't step over, I never step over because I might lose a hook, he might roll. So I control the hip and I pull him towards me. I usually control the hip and push the elbow. So from here, it's, it's very slight. So I can get, get my seatbelt grip and get my hook in if I can. If not, I'm just gonna triangle my legs here on the bottom and control the top shoulder. So if it's MMA, I can, I can pull out, I can strike, or I can hit the twister from here. But really all I want is the back, I wanna finish the fight. So as I'm controlling the shoulder, I stretch them out. Now I can get my top hook in and finish the choke. So another option I've got from here, I can come up, let's say I only get to here, I don't get all the way through, it starts smashing me down. So I use, I switch my hooks. So my left foot is taking over and reach his knee. At this point I come up to my knees and I'm pushing him over. So again, I sit up, I switch my hooks, I come up to my knees and I push him. So he bases out to his left. Okay, so I push, push, push. If I can, I'm gonna tap the knee and take him down here. But in this instance, he's pushing against me. So what I'm gonna do, my base in hand is gonna go under his leg and I'm gonna roll on top of myself. Again, I can get into this back position. My knee comes up and I can take the back. So again guys, the detail with the feet. I've got my, my diamond shape. I kick, I follow to here. Now my feet, I just switch my hooks. So it comes over, I reap it. I've got the pressure on his knee. So when I sit up and I push the bases, as he's pushing back, I use this and pull towards me. So I'm using it for leverage. So one more time. I flare the arm, I sit up, underhook. I switch my hooks, I push, and he bases out. And now I use that resistance, that reaction to roll underneath myself, underhook his leg. And control. So one more option we got from here is there's a heel hook I like to do from this position. So again, I've got my, my diamond shape. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the far leg. Still not letting him control my head. Because if he controls my head, I've lost my position here. So, control inside the biceps. I control the far leg. Now my leg that's under his arm, I kick out and I pendulum round. So I kick it out, I pendulum, and I come to this position here. Now from here, I grab his ankle, and my leg again, it kicks in that direction. So as I grab his ankle, I kick, and I pull it over. So we land in this position. He's not, he's not got much movement, and I can hit the inside heel hook. I can use this leg for extra pressure, I can squeeze, but I can reach back and hit the heel. One more time. In this half guard position. Again, you can use this, you can, you can push away, you can pull towards him. So each direction he's going, you just do the opposite. Now I want that underhook, so I dive for the underhook. At the same time, kick out, pendulum round. I can't stay here for too long. I don't want him to start defending this position. So I grab the ankle, I kick under his shoulder and pull it towards me. Now, I can hit that inside heel hook position. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you'd like to know any more information about us, you can check our website, revolutionmartialarts.co.uk or check us out on Facebook.